We're telling you, boss. Yeah, Stepan Ukrainsky. Today, I wanted to say Ryak Sprabi to everyone. Now, I, it's from Ukraine, so I want you to see. Today, we're going to make the Ukrainsky Holopsi. But as in normal Ukrainsky tradition, again, we must have the Pirba and the Hordirka. It is for good luck for a good Holopsi. Oh, dobre. We got the Pirba. Stepan like it very, very much. Okay, now we're going to prepare our kapusta to make our halupsi. We're going to take the center from the cabbage, then we're going to put it into the hot water. Going to have to make sure it's all covered. And we're going to let the leaves come off. You must do this. If not, you're going to make much damage to the kapusta. And if you make a damage to the kapusta, then you're going to have the hymno. So we will wait until the cabbage is going to come free. The leaves on the outside, you'll take them off because we're going to use later on in the process. We put it in the hot water. And we're going to wait till it get like little flower. I have my rice. I put just enough of the water to cover the rice. Now we're going to turn it on to bring to a boil. When the rice has come to the boil, we're going to want to take it off to the heat and wait till all the water go away. The leaves they coming off dobre. It is the correct system and the method. As my Dito say to me, Stepan, you must have the system and the method no matter what you do, you must have system and a method. Okay, I think some ready to come out of the pot. Yes, they're very, very soft. That's what you would want. You want to soft so they'd be very tender so you can work with them when you put the filling. Now we're going to take some more out. You let them drain good. And when I come back, because I will finish the rest of these, I will show you how to prepare the cabbage further. There is much steam coming from the stove. It's very hot, so Stepan, he must have the more pilva. Now did all cabbage come out of the hot water? It is two heads of the kapusta, and now we're going to continue the next step. It's very, very important that you take very thick from the back of the kapusta, and you make a cut with a very sharp knife. Because it's going to be very difficult to make a roll or cabbage. We put it on the side. The very, very big leaves on the outside of the kapusta, we're going to put in the pan. This one not too bad. It have a little bit. Because how you start the preparation is how good your holopsi going to be. It must go very gently 
like I say, when you give your Dusha Moya, you give her a kiss, you give her very tender. You don't want to cut through to the leaves. You just want to make a nice cut. We will save all. We will put these in the, the pan and they are going to cook them with the holubki. We don't throw nothing away. The boja he gives to us, we cannot throw it away. When I do some more, I will make the holubsi. And when I start at the Petahab Machina, I will have the holubsi also. The, the very the smaller ones I keep to the one side. If you could do the day before, it go much faster. But now, much Billy Schnee on the ground. That is the white snow, the Billy She. I will finish all of these and I will come back and show you the filling. Okay, the cabbage, she all ready to go. Kapusta, it is good when you put from the hot water, it makes it easier to make the cut. Now I take it, the one pound of the korova, and I put it into the bowl. And I have the half a pound of the swenya. Now on the swenya, you don't want to use the hunker swenya, cause the hunker swenya very very bad for for anything. It is all bad. If you eat, use the hunker swenya, you will become the kalika. The meat on hunker swenya very solid. It like a drink of the vinegar. So you don't want to use the hunker swenya. It go into the bowl. We're going to make a little bit of the mix to get it together. I use my hands. I have no problem with this, but many places you must take a special glove and put it on. Okay, we mix it up a little bit. Oh, it also help if you take the corova and the swenya out a little bit, that way it not be too cold on your hands. You know, they say I see on many TV programs that about the cross contamination. I don't believe it. No one going to leave their corova or their swenya out in 10 hours to get the warm, you must use a double rosum. Now I'm going to take my rice. I take my rice, I rinse under the cold water. I think the first time I make the halupsi, the rice, it have a much starch. Get the doll in there. Now, we're going to take the butter and the onions. I make it the four big onions and the one and the half a stick of butter. It seems that when I play my Musikansky from the Ukraine, that it always is better. Now we get it all into the, the pan. Now, Stepan, he put the one yaitza. Uh, no one I see to put the yaitza, but I don't like it in the mix, so I put it.
You must get it all so it be good. Now I have that in garlic. I make it all mashed. I make it good. Now I have it the one tablespoon of the salt that to seal and I have a half a tablespoon of the pepper and the one tablespoon of special spice. I'm going to mix it all together. It takes the time to make the good holutsi, but it's worth it. When you taste it, I think you say yes, it is worth the time. It's not that much work. Make a good mix. Yes, to get back to the cross contamination, I think they make a much to do about the nothing. Again, person must have a dobre rosum. They're not going to leave out in the hot air for 10 hours. Then yes, you're going to become the Kailika. It is a much Korova, as much as a swenny. If you know, use it all, you can put it in the freezer. Or you can just uh, fry it in the skillet. It's good too. I now cook my rice all the way through. Because it's going to cook into the oven. Some people make their holubki on top of the stove. I put mine in the oven. Going to continue to the mix it. So we get it all good together. I sell it to Halutsi. It seems to be good. People like it. We almost got together. I hope you can also hear I have the music. Okay, I think she is good. You clean the hands. Make sure you get it all. We'll wash the hands a little bit. Good. Oi, step on here near the pills up. Now we're going to begin to roll the cabbage. Now we're going to take our filling all ready to go and we're going to start to fill the capusta. 
I'm going to take the capusta, take some of the filling. We're going to put in the center. I'm going to fold it over. Fold the sides to make it good. Now you're going to roll. To have the one. I put mine on the pan and I put in my cooking bowl later. We'll take the, the, the filling. Going to make it a little. Put it in the center. How much you're going to fit? It is up to you. But you must make sure that you seal the good so they don't come to the part. It is not hard to do, it just takes a little bit of time. Do one more. Take it to, to put it in the capusta. Going to make a fold on the side and make it a roll. Now if you have the, the very very big leaf like this, you could take it and to cut it. And make it smaller. To, to fold the side if you like a the small holopsy when I finish I will come back and show you the product all is now complete with the holopsy they are all rolled, put together, many different sizes. I get maybe the, about the 50 holubsi out of the cabbage. Now we're going to put into the pan. See, I take all leftover, the capusta, and I put in the bottom of the pan. Now we're going to put the holubsi into the pan. You want to keep them as close together as you can. That's why I make one separate dish. I make a put it this way you can put them where you want, where you need them. But you want to keep them close together. And you put the side with the fold, it go to the bottom. I will continue to put them into the pan and I will come back to it. Now I have completed putting the halopsi into the pot. I hope you could see it. I put them all in there. I put the salt and the pepper. Now I'm going to put my sauce in. Oh, I don't forget. 
I use all little pieces to put on top what I have left over. Now I'm going to put the tomato sauce. I'll take it to one can of the tomatoes. It's going to take more, but I start with the one can of the tomato sauce. Half a can of the water. And the one tablespoon of the white of vinegar. It's important because I like it to, to be a little bit sour. Now I'm going to put the tomato sauce all over. It's going to take more, but I think you get the idea. I think you understood it, me. Okay, the halutsi, they all covered with the tomato sauce. Now it is very important that you take a plate and you put it on the top and push it down so all stay covered when it is cooking. If it's not covered, then your cabbage is going to be very, very bad. It's going to get very dry and burn. Now I'm going to put the lid on, put it in a 400 degree oven for 30 minutes. Then I'm going to set the oven for 325 degrees and then it cook for one and a half hours. So when it be finished, I'm going to hope to show you the, the finished uh, halutsi. Thank you. Before I put the halutsi into the oven, I must have some pilva because I'm very thirsty. Oh, dobre. Okay, a holutsi, they cook in the oven. It took the three hours for them to cook. So I take some, while I'm waiting, I clean my kitchen all up, my pots and pans all clean. Oh, correct. Now, here is the holutsi. It's what she look going to look like. We're going to try. I'm going to take a little bit of the salt. A little bit of the pepper. And we're going to give it a try. Oh, just like the bubba she make it. They're so good, the whole loopsy. Your most important thing in the good holopsy, to use the good kapusta, the good korova, and a good swenny. But no hunker swenny because it's going to be very bad you become a kalika. So we try one more. Oi, Baba Dido, so good. It go good too. I make a kleba. I make a good kleba. It go good with the halupsi. So, I hope you like my video. And I hope to see you next time. And I also hope that if someone have the recipe that they will put to for the machanka. I not have machanka since Baba she was alive. So, till next time, I say to you all, Paka! And also, I would like to add Slava! Ukraina!